Uh, but that's it for here in Ayalesa, and that should be it for the Athena Nebula as a whole. It looks like it is. So let's buy more fuel and head out. Where to now? Cillian's done, Nimbus Cluster done, Minos Wasteland. Everything around here I thought was done, except for a couple spots where I don't think there is anything. All right, so let's head back to the Citadel. We're not gonna do any of the quests. Well, any of the hard quests. I feel like we have completed a few quests, so we're just gonna go back to the Citadel kind of proper. We're not gonna go to Bryson's lab or to Anderson's apartment. Those are both DLC that I'm putting off for the time being. So just back to the Citadel. Just the docks. Yes. <laughs> I have to double check this kind of thing. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Nah. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Let's just go normally and uh, We'll see if anybody has quests for me to turn in around here. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Right. We finished your thing a long time ago, like two visits ago, I feel like. Uh, there should be somebody that talks right around you here. Sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, you won't thank me so much when you're eye-deep in husks. Well, at least she doesn't have to fight her brother. Don't think there was anything around here. Nope. All right. Nothing here. So let's head out. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Go to the holding area. Did it always say Spectre status recognized? I feel like it didn't. Now arriving at docking bay E24. But I don't remember when it would have changed or what it said before. All right, nothing going on there. Let's check over here. This is where Ashley was before. Doesn't look like she is here now. My party members do like to move on me. Nothing going on over here. Try to find as much as I can, but so far there isn't much. I feel like I did find a couple things out in the galaxy that would turn in a couple quests. All right, you're done. Uh, like nothing that I really need to care about there because so much of what I do is powers. I don't really need to upgrade weapons all that much. It would help my party members, but they're not doing so great. So, any news? No, they just, their shuttle must be real slow, that's all. You think they're okay? They promised they'd come get me, no matter what they had to do. It's been so long. I don't know, kid. I'm sure they'd be happy, knowing you're safe. It's just, I miss them. I miss them so much. I think she's finally starting to come with terms, come to the terms that her, her parents died, but uh, not quite there yet. Uh, anybody here at like the makeshift medical area? No, doesn't look like it. I'll head out up here. See if any of the Asari have anything to say. James is talking. We can talk to him. He's back at the poker table. No longer getting the tattoo. Look at me now. Doing better. Did you ever doubt me? Yes. Don't answer that. Yes, I did. You just gonna stand there and watch? Yep. About time. It's my kink. I like to stand and watch people play poker. Uh, Sane is the same. You guys are all the same. VI doesn't have anything new to say, and neither does Sane, mm -hmm. so. I believe those are my credits. So it looks like we are moving on. Not too much going on around here. A little bit more dialogue, but that's it. Like I said, I feel like... What the... What? Once again, 
It's like the heads that turn like 120, 150 degrees, somewhere around there. It's not cool. Throws me off every time. Now, maybe some of these species can do that. I don't know the, the neck range of a Turian offhand, but it's still... It's, it's unsettling. I'll head to the embassy to see if there's more going on there. I know uh, Miranda wanted us to, to meet no, somewhere as well, but I don't know if I can figure out where. Uh, none of my people want to talk. How are you doing, Embassy Guard? Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Spectre business? Okay. She didn't say it, though. It kind of moved a little bit too fast, I assume. Thank you. All right, okay. So let's talk Let to him. And... You want to see the office. I, I, want, I want in now. All right. I'm assuming a quick time event is coming. Play entry one, please. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. Let's try number two. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. Let's try number three. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Zaid. Go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Super. Zaid. Still a mercenary. Uh, so we have played all the entries. Let's leave. Anything else going on around here? There's a. Let's use the bug. Commander Shepard, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. All right. We're going to go help. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How do you know my name all of a sudden? Good question. Where am I going? I, I want to kind of take care of this right now. So he's at number two. Two. He, okay, he's in the apartments. Okay. 
and we'll come back and try to take care of the rest in a bit. Uh, but I'm kind of on the mission right now. We'll have to deal with everything that's relatively normal later. Um, this way, maybe? Looks like this is it. This one's just normal. I got your message, Shit. Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. We'll try it. What is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. All right, I trust you. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. Makes sense. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Really? Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. You were cautious. Also, your hair doesn't work right. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Thanks, but... It's okay. It's fine. I, I understand your concern. I do. I'm glad you didn't do it, though. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard course and Miranda this thing you have to do good luck don't worry Shepard I always have a plan all right so that didn't lock me into anything so it's not uh, a bad thing that I went in there uh, got a few more paragon points this is the one that I have to actually go into though for Din Korlak let's try to take care of it we'll talk to Zaid along the way they do remember that I knew Zaid that's always nice Dave. Wrong door. Oh. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. We'll be back for him. Let's go over here. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You hurt? Did those marks hurt you? 
I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. Triple cross! You saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Well, shit. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. Uh, so I have four options. You're better than this, which is where I'm going to go. Beat him up, Zaid. Well, beat him, Zaid. Uh, I want the colony safer. I'll take the bombers. You're better than this. I get both. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. All right. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Huh? Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. That I will. All right, looks like we are done here. Wow, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. Got experience, uh, Paragon, money, uh, and, well, the Volus bombing fleet, like was promised. All right, so let's leave from here right now because we weren't done exploring the, uh, the embassies. We'll be back to kind of look at stuff around here, but for now... I want to see what else I can do around here. So there were a couple quests. I was wondering how to do the Din Korlak one, but I guess we got that done. We talked to the diplomat already, so we are done on this side. Let's continue going forward and see if I can't uh, complete a few more quests along the way. I feel like none of you wanted to talk, and the only person I wanted to talk was over here about the adoption. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. Well, not really adoption, but still. You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. All right, looks like that has been resolved. Hopefully that doesn't mean it starts looping, though. Not a big fan of the looping. Now let's go to CSEC. Talk to Bailey. Never looks like he has anything around here. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in right. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut up. Yeah, we have seen that before. Even this little opening thing in the opening cutscene, so we're skipping that. Uh, can't go to Udina's office. Apparently they haven't replaced him yet. That seems like it would be a priority. So let's go to the Spectre Terminal, see if there's anything new going on around here. Nothing here. Spectre Terminal. There's a few things here. Commendation for Captain Riley. Captain Riley, an N7 operative, has been nominated for a commendation for Valor for her actions at SIO and approval from a Spectre would fast track the award process. Sure. Why not? 
Transfer authorization, Private Talavi. Private Talavi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaged against Reaper hostiles. A note from Sergeant Olembe says that practical or pri Private Talavi is an exceptional engineer, recommending her for duty on a team set to sabotage Reaper Processing Center. Spectre authorization would fast track this request. Sure. Sorry, Huntress Weapon Permit. Huntress Aeon Tagoni is a patient at Huerta Memorial Hospital. She is currently on stress leave due to a mission on the human, col human colony of Tip Tree, where she was forced to kill a human civilian to prevent both of them from being discovered by Reaper forces. Tagoni has repeatedly requested a permit to carry weapons on Citadel. The quest has been denied because of Tagoni's paranoia and the possibility of self-inflicted harm. Spectre Authority can override these security measures and grant Tagoni the right to a firearm. Not sure how to feel about this one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, none of the other Spectre Terminal stuff has been bad for me as far as I can tell, so let's give the, uh, the PTSD patient a gun. What could go wrong? I hope. Uh, nothing going on there. Okay. And we got an update to the Citadel Defense Force. An update to the Alliance Third Fleet. And that's it. Fair enough. Nothing going on over here. 